In come the copy! Oh, oh, look at them, so cute! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! What we've got? We got so much news! So much news! We have new dinosaurs, new events. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start, really. Okay, so, what has happened? Where have I been? Where's Jurassic World been, Beaver? Well, the same, well, uh, alive and the game have been. <laughs> oh, me. <man. laughs> Jurassic World Alive has actually updated. They've done a huge update. Uh, well, I say huge. As far as I can tell, uh, there's new dinosaurs, and that is, that's a big update. Um, but there's also other things, and these dinosaurs that have come out, you know, normally you might get like a T-Rex animation or something, but no, these guys are big, big updates because it's a lot of time and effort. Um, and I kind of just want to praise uh, Lydia for a second for just the, the sheer scale of effort that they put into this. Also, I will put out a lure to see if we can grab one of the the, the, the new dinosaurs to unlock it. Uh, but, you know, there's a Baryonyx Gen 2 right here. So we're going to go over all the new creatures, how to unlock said new creatures, and yeah, we're going to have a really good time. Um, there is a lot to go over because not only are these new dinosaurs with new animations and everything like that, but they also have new, um, like, a new abilities, a new uh, attack battles things that we've never seen before. Uh, also, I did notice there's a Deodoc, cheeky Deodocorus in the background. <laughs> oh, so I have been up since six o'clock this morning. I went to bed at 3 a.m., so I've had about three hours sleep. And it is now half two. So I've almost been up for a full 12 hours. And I'm about to keel over and die. <laughs> but actually, I, I've got a lot to do today as well. Oh, Lord. Not only this video. So if you want to subscribe to my Patreon and give me money, thank you. <laughs> I don't have a Patreon. Where's the sad music? Purge the enemy! That's the one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the new, the new creatures. Right. We should- oh, oh, I can't say- I can't say no to that, can I? Ooh, or a little bit of that, no, give me more. No, we're gonna jump into the sanctuaries to see the new creatures already. Well, the level 5 one, somebody's put in a doo-doo. So let's go check out the doo-doo. Um, so, normally it's one creature. Swarms! Swarms! We have freaking swarms! So this is a said dodo. Um, so I, we're gonna see its eating animation first. Um, I love this. Look at the amount. Of, you've got all of the different personalities. And then you've got a gr the greedy one who wants, a, like, extra when it's going away. In fact, actually, while I was doing stuff today, I was uh, I was looking at my back garden. And I saw, um... I've, l I've lost me wax, guys. It, it's dire straits here in the beaver household. It really is. I was I was watching the back garden. I saw there was a, there was a starling and then a baby starling. And the starling was like, Meh, give me, give me food, Meh. <laughs> it was beautiful. And let's have a look at the play. Do they play with the ball of cheese? Mount Cheddar. Oh, it's like he's... Oh, bless. He's like he's sitting on... Oh, we definitely got a dominant dodo here. Ah, oh, I need four. Oh, hold on. Let's get, an, let's get the funny sound effect for that one. Alien fiends. That's the one. Okay. So interact. I mean, there's no point really doing interact because you know what it's going to be. Um, it's, just, it's just they do a little dance and that, that, that's mainly it. Um, so, I think there is another one if we go to this sanctuary that somebody has placed a... Yeah, here it is! Are you ready? Are you ready, guys? These are Compsognathus. And they have the... I mean, we've seen a lot of brutal animations when it comes to eating the goat. Ludia spares no expense when it comes to brutality uh, for goats. Um, so we're going to start with the play first because, you know, you get to see the play. But look at this. Not any animation is... I mean, the run animation is a bit similar there. I love it. I love it. Ah, oh, just... The level of, like, imagine the like the time and resources it takes to, uh, I mean, modeling them is the same. It's a different color, though, on the skin. But the animations are all different, uh, except for when they ran over there. That, that looked like it was the same animation. But mainly, they're all different. And now this is where, this is where we get, like, okay, let's just, I'll just show you. I'll show you. Thank 
Thank you, Lydia. That was horrendous. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a nice little Easter egg here. Now, I don't know whether it was the sound team, the sound design team that did this, but when that goat dies, we'll do it one more time. Sorry if you didn't see it, but if you listen closely, listen to the goat. That bit there, that sound effect is from JPOG when a large carnivore picks up a goat and shakes it, but then proceeds to walk around with the goat. The goat makes this, I get, well, that sound effect is like, <laughs> uh, this the amazing rendition, I know. Bro, can we get the Bravo sound effect? That's the one, that's the one. Yes, yes, that's the one. So we have Cubs and Ninnas and we have Dodos. Um, I will check the other sanctuary to see if any others have been put in, but I don't think anybody else has any. I think, I think mainly it's those two. I could be wrong. So and now if we jump over to the update, release notes on the update 2.7. So introducing Flocks. So the Dodo and Compi have this new ability or passive, a keyword called Flock. Tiny creatures have made their way into Jurassic World alike in the form of Flocks. Flocks are groups of three creatures who work as one in battle. Each flock counts as one member of your team. So it's just like a regular dinosaur at the moment. It's all the same. So what does a flock do? Absorb. Uh, so with absorb, flocks can withstand powerful attacks and keep fighting, only losing one flock member at a time. But watch out for group attacks. These can take out the entire flock at once. And in this, it really feels like they've, I don't know, they're changing the game and I love it. So let's say you have a Thordor, right? Thordor is this dinosaur, unlike Mortem Rex or whatever it's called in this. I think it's, no, it is Mortem Rex, yes. Imagine a Mortem Rex has a really big attack, right? It can kill anything in one hit. It's fast. It's fast as nothing you can do. You have these compies. It's going to take three hits for, for it to kill you. And basically, you've got three lives and that's it. Uh, I'm assuming that they don't have too much health each. Um, it would be interesting if I find some footage of somebody who's actually unlocked a copy to see it in combat, how that looks. Uh, they also have Rally. So with Rally, Flox can call a new member into the fray after one is defeated. But remember, regular healing abilities cannot t trigger a Rally. Uh, okay. So how do you get a rally? By defeating an opponent. So we've seen Compi, the epic. There's also Comstock Nathus Gen 2, um, who has Absorb, a uh, Swarm passive, yes. I'll, uh, alert the Flock, which is a passive. I don't know what that means exactly. Uh, courageous Alert, Hop and Mock, Impact and Run. And we also have Bumpy, who's a new dinosaur. Bumpy's the best friend of Ben Pincus. On Netflix's Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, welcome this affectionate ankylosaur uh, with one large horn to Jurassic World Alive. Uh, with one large horn? Oh, okay, welcome. Okay, gotcha. Uh, the interesting thing is it doesn't look... Oh, no, maybe it is like the ankylosaur. I wonder if they've done a different model. Uh, stunning alert passive. Interesting. Uh, superior vulnerability, inst uh, instant invincibility taunt, and group taunting... Sh Sorry, am I like... Like, really close there. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> and the Dodo, which also has the Absorb. Um, flightless Strike, which seems completely ludicrous. What, you, you, you increase their attack? Or you increase your attack, decrease your crit chance, but then have... I have no idea. Alert Decoy. Um, and you also have Comsognathus, which has the Cunning Strike, the Hop and Mock, and Alert Scurry. So it's going to be quite interesting how you get extra flock members to your group in this rally ability. And already we have two hybrids, I think. We have the Dodo Sevia, which is the Dodo and Instrax Sevia, that one. Also, hold on, I will put out, we'll jump back into here for a second. I will, oh, oh, there, well, I mean, there's a Dometrodon. If we needed one, or oh, we've got one, we don't need one, though. But hey-ho, here it is. Um, so let's just start this. <laughs> I was like, and I need to continue to read, but I can't continue to read because I'm darting. Oh, it's been a busy day. It's been a busy day. I've been up, normally I get up at what, like 10, 10, 10 or 11 o'clock? I've been up since 6. 
So already I've been up for six hours more than I than I should be. I think I'm gonna die, but it's okay. I'm fighting through it. I push through it. I can do it. Uh, so that's 276. Um, so we will put down a giga set. Let's see what we get with a giga set. Hey, we'll put that down the whole time. Hopefully we'll fish for a dodo or something. We never know. So it's a dodo and an instruct sapphire. Uh, that has the protective alert, revenge, distracting impact, alert decoy. Interesting. Um, I don't know. What, maybe that's the alert decoy. We get another one to it. And the new unique, which is Comsognathus the Epic and Diplocalus Gen 2. So, guys, be prepared. You're going you're gonna to see a lot of Diplocalus Gen 2 uh, alerts coming through. So, I have 52,000. So, we should be okay. It's already level 15 because I think it's... Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, look at them. Oh, they look they look fantastic. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, we do need a level 20, though. So we will. I will spend the coin needed to get this thing to level 20 in preparation. Uh, so this thing, uh, well, it will have Absorb, Cunning Strike, Hop and Mock, uh, Restricted Group Distraction, and Alert Scurry, which is interesting. And some of the biggest news is the new raid battle that we are going to be getting very soon. Um, you know, we've had more Rex, Gorgo Trebex, uh, Sarah Magnus, Hadrosaur Lux. I think that's it. It's four a week. So we're now going to have five. Yay! Even more. <laughs> uh, and what I tend to do is I, I, um, I, I have a group. I have a, I have a guy who invites me all the time. Thank you, David. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, all the work you do. Basically, I just go on and he just sorts it all out. And I, I can't, I'm more appreciative to that. Especially, like, just the amount of time you have to put in the game anyway. Uh, just to even stay on top of things. Um, so, the new battle, the new boss is a Dilophosaurus. Um, is a tricky competitor. Can't, oh, sorry, catch it hiding in the reeds to distract its prey. Then moving in for the attack at the moment their enemy is weakest. So, it has swap and distraction. Is it going to swap in? Or is that, is that when we unlock it? Cutting Strike, Alert Nullification, Cutting Rampage, and Super Distraction. I have no idea. So, now we get into the new abilities. So, Flock Creatures have come with a new ability, which is set uh, Alert Abilities. Alert Abilities have different effects based on the Flock's total remaining HP, uh, which represents how many are going to be in the Flock. Uh, if the Flock dips to two or one members, the Alert Abilities Threatened State will trigger uh, some other creatures now have alert abilities too, with a threshold in their total HP de uh, deciding between secure and threatening states. We are really seeing levels of Pokemon coming through here. Like, it, you, used, you have abilities in Pokemon where if a, if a Pokemon's uh, health is reduced to uh, less than 50%, its attack is halved. And I'm wondering uh, what, what, what we have here. Um, so I'm really, so I think this is it. This is the ability. While secure, after receiving and surviving a physical attack, reduce attacker's damage minus 10%. But if you survive it when you're less, um, than whatever that percentage is, for, it's, when, sorry, when your ability is set to, uh, threatened, uh, your damage, uh, you'll do minus 15% for the, for the attack. So every move that has this icon, this one here, the up and down arrow, um, means that it basically changes depending on your your health. Um, so some, like the um, the counter, is better if you're lower health. Uh, this one, the alert decoy, its ability is completely disabled if you're threatened. So you're you're low. You've lost a few members. Uh, it seems like if it's if it's something that has something to do with distraction, then having a threatened state seems to be better. It's really going to be one. Like look at all this. All of these things, it's it's going to be a case of just, you know, you unlock the dinosaur and then you see just what you can do with this. But yeah, that, that seems to be the majority of the updates. Going into looking, because it is actually Wednesday now, so we're already partway through the week. Um, is there anything here that we could need? Uh, so we've already missed the Monday to Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We've got Arctops, Gorgonops, and Hast Eagle Gen 2. I think Arctops and Hast Eagle have hybrids. Maybe Gorgonops does too. Um, we've got a Legendary Incubator on the Friday to look forward to. Saturday and Sunday, Blue, Trodon, and Hast Eagle. Now, the only one with a hybrid, I think, is Blue with Indo Gen 2. 
Hast Eagle, ah, Hast Eagle might actually, unless it's Hast Eagle Gen 2. I don't think Trodon does, but, um, out of all those, I don't know, I, I, ooh, hold on! Oh, we got a freaking cooler Sutures Gen 2, we're gonna grab that! Um, out of those guys, I think I would, it's, it's either Hast Eagle or Trodon. I don't need Interrupted Gen 2. Uh, I haven't needed, I think I've got level 29 Interrupted Gen 2, actually. Um, because I, I ended up boosting it because I, I thought that Ludia just weren't going to fix the game. And Interrupted Gen 2 was just going to be the best creature uh, in the game forever. Uh, it didn't, it, luckily they changed it. Just like, uh, if you remember, Velociraptor was a friggin' sweet um, dinosaur for the longest time. Uh, not anymore, though. Uh, not for a long time, but the biggest pains was Velociraptor, then you had Interrupted Gen 2, and it, it doesn't really- Look Look at those little chonkers! A little Glyptodon! A giant Indoraptor- Oh! Oh! We got a legendary! We got a Scap- Oh, it's a Dornopteryx, never mind. Let's go catch this, shall we? Oh, wow, we're getting all of them! I don't even have to leave the comfort of my own house! <laughs> uh, but, not only have we had all these updates, uh, we are also, uh, at the moment, in the midst of a boost reshuffle. So, if you want to, you can now switch your boost to any dinosaur. Doesn't matter what it is, you will get 100% of your boost refunded. Oh, Pyraptor. Oh, heck yeah, I'll take that. Another one. Why are we doing so good here? What's going on? Um, yeah, I can't remember what to say. Oh, yeah, the boost. So, we, we got a boost reshuffle. Um, which I think is good. I mean, it's definitely a step in the right direction towards the better option. That is, you can just freely swap around your boost without any penalty. That would be the dream. However, chances of that happening seem to be very low because this is the third time. Oh, did the music decide to stop? And I missed one, damn it! <laughs> Still haven't got that uh, that thing. What's it called? Um, the miss 100 epic shots. Haven't haven't uh, achieved that one yet. Uh, one thing I want to look at here. Look at this. Look at this. Can I look at my my rewards? Look, I've changed from eggs. I know, sacrilegious. Hey. And I went to goat because goat is now the best. Because I don't know whether the person I was facing in a PvP realized it or not. Um, but we both drew. He had a chance to kill me, but decided to go for a lethal wound. And it was during the tournament. I think we were both the Thalacosomilius or whatever it's called. The one that can, um, do rendering and lethal. It's an epic hybrid, that one. Um, and he could have killed me, but he decided to go for lethal. And I'm wondering if he knew, because he could get this reward. Um, so you only get the, this badge if you draw a battle in a PvP. In a season battle. Um, so I was pretty... It's pretty well chuffed with that league. <laughs> oh, we also have a T-Rex Gen 2. We've got to grab that as well. So now is the time that I might be able to take off all my boosts from Erla Dominus. Oh, and the music stopped again. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> so I might do that. I might take all my boosts off the Erla Dominus and put them onto Erla Sphix. Because if I've got to be honest, Erla Sphix seems to be the better dino. Um, the fact that it's immune, it's, well, it's immune to distraction, I think. It's not immune to the speed reduction. Um, I think Illidonis might also be immune to it. Um, I'll have, I'll have, to, I'll have to have a check. Oh, look, speaking of Erlico, there's an Erlicosaurus. So let's go grab this one, shall we? Wow, loads of good dinosaurs at the moment. This is brilliant. Oh, and the game's just not happy with me. Uh, a few fixes that I, I think that they could do with in my honest opinion is i don't know whether my, it's my phone but I, I can never seem to load up recently the uh, alliance chat it just never loads up i'm just stuck on this spinning icon with maybe a couple of collections that collect the dna i've requested so maybe that could be done with a, a quick look into. Ludia recently has been doing a, a pretty good job at reading the community and um, listening to their feedback and adding things in or taking things out um, a lot more. Um, I also want to add another attack boost too. It could be Hadrosaur, 
but Sarah Magnus is pretty decent. And I think I will increase Sarah Magnus. So at the moment, I think I've got 10. I've got 10 into the health. I have not increased its its speed at all. Because pretty much when you do the uh, the speed ability, you're going to be faster than most things. Maybe one or two, maybe get it to 120 speed. But if I can get 10 on health and then 20, or is it 15 max? It might be 15 max. If I can get 10 on, or max out, if I can max out attack, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So there you go. Even better, Sarah Magnus. So let's do it. Let's see what kind of battles we can get. Um, it's probably not going to be uh, very easy because we're in the gyrosphere depot. And gyrosphere depot means bad. Means that, uh, although saying that, I don't know. It, it hasn't been too bad recently. What's, what's a good one? We could start with Magnetator, but I'm tempted for Dio. Now, Dio, I have not boosted at all. And maybe I could be tempted to put... No, I wouldn't put speed on Dio. What would be the point of putting speed on Dio? If a Dio v Dio happens, you actually want to be the slower Dio. Aha! Perfect! Um, so he, he probably... Oh, I was actually tempted to go for the shield. I thought he would just go for nullifying. But, uh, I mean, what's his attack? 4,400? Yeah, he, he probably would have killed me. Um... Now, he's not faster than my Earl Dominus, so I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, he'll go for that. I mean, if I wanted to risk it, I could have went for instant invincibility. Maybe he would have just went for the regular hit, but we'll go, we'll go for Earl Dominus. Um, and from here, I'm going to go for the distracting. That's what we're going to go for, because I think he's going to switch. Or he doesn't. Okay, and we get a crit. Fair enough. I didn't need it, but th there it is. So here's Trico. Um, so he's probably going to go for... Um, I'm kind of tempted just to switch it out. Like, if I go for the big hit here, um, I, I I might be in with a chance to win this. Because uh, he'll go for a counter, and then he'll probably slow me down and kill me. Yeah, just in case I went for the cloak, which was the smart thing to do. Well done, well done. He can't take away distraction. Um, and I, 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 I can't kill him in one hit, so I'm going to have to go for this. So we're going to half... We're going to be hit by almost 3,000 damage here. Um, but we're going to kill him next turn. Um, I don't think... I, maybe a crit would have killed him. I'm really not too sure. Oh, we get hit by a crit. Hopefully we don't get hit by a crit on this as well. Good. Uh, okay. So, I think the best thing to do here is go for nullifying. Um, yes. Okay. I think we might have lost this. Oh, ooh, hello. I'll give you a bumpy. There we go. Bump. Oh, here's a Thordor. This is kind of what I was worried about. Because uh, <laughs> uh, we can go for a big hit. Um, and then he's probably going to kill us. Or we can go for Sarah Magnus. Get the stun. And then go for a charge. Uh, oh, you so we're dead either way. We're de we may as well try the Sarah Magnus. Right? We're going to die either way. Um, so there it is. Didn't even get the stun. Didn't even get the stun. Didn't. He oh, what, what are the chances? Well, I mean, he's probably just going to go for instant charge. Um, ooh. Oh, he's got the goat idea. Oh. <laughs> I was going to die either way. Oh, at least I got to see some new emotes. Um, they may be in the new update because they put some new um, um, emotes in here, I think. <gasps> I was killed by Jojo and I used Dio. Oh, wow. There is... A oh, have we just clocked over? Oh my god. Oh my god, we clocked over. We've got all the Hast Eagles, Arcteopsies. Uh, oh, Demetrodon's uh, appeared again. We'll take a Demetrodon. He's a freebie. Um, also, we've got a super rare incubator to collect there too. Oh, is the music going to play the whole time? Whoa. Although, saying that, the sound effects for the Demetrodon have stopped. <laughs> you can have one, but you can't have both. You're not allowed to have both, says Ludio. There you go, that'll do. 186. Again, I'm doing this on my iPad, so it's kind of like, rather than just being like, woo, on me thumb. So, let's see. What, what else do we have out here? Anything new that might have spawned in as well? No, loads of hast eagles. So I'll, I'll have to think. Is it one battle or is it two? Oh, it's one battle. Let's do it. I feel like Ludio will soon resist trying to make Apex's the be-all and end-all because, of course, not all players can have it. And in fact, I think I've also noticed... Oh, I'll have killed him. Unless he... No, yeah, he's definitely dead. Um, 
because I've seen... A, I, I've been going up, even though I don't think I've done anything different. I've been going up in the rankings, and I think that's because I am using, like, Mordem Rex, Hadrosaur Lux, and Sarah Magnus in my team. I haven't used a, uh, a Gorgotrebex, um, but I think it would probably be about time for me to go on the, the, the stat thing and see just what I can do with Gorgotrebex. So we're going to get 500 Hast Eagle as well as 241 out of no. Hey, we did it. We got a Goopy. Sweet. Come so this. Let's have a look. Oh, that was... Happy day! I didn't expect to actually unlock a compy today. Let's hatch the compies! Compies! It's compies! Oh, look at how cute they are! Oh, these ones, they kind of look like they're feather, but they're, they're obviously not. Uh, so do these guys go into anything or are they just cutie pies? Oh, oh, so we get to see what it looks like in game. So you have the little up and down icon there. I should just use these against somebody. Should we, should we do that, guys? Should we use copies against, like, a super high tier thing? No. Oh, never mind, guys. I don't even need to do that. I can just do one of these battles and we'll get to see just what a compy can do. Ooh, I'm excited. I think they've got, like, um, or maybe they don't. But some compy has a swap-in ability, uh, which distracts. I don't know if it's these compies. So, yeah, they do have a swap-in ability. Ooh, should we try that? Should we try swapping? Look, it's even got the up and down arrows that are black. I think they should make that a little bit more easily to see. I can see it on my iPad because my iPod is massive. But on a phone, maybe make them red. Like, uh, I don't know. Just maybe put like a stroke around them or something. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to swap in just to see what happens. Because um, I, I think what they've been trying to do is put 100% stun on a swap in these days. Uh, but let's see. In come the copies. Oh, look at them. So cute. So what happened? Oh, look, we got a little... No! We lost one already! There was no swap in! Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Um, uh, secure. So we're still in secure. Um, so what do we get for that? Uh, self. HP over 471. Okay, uh, lowest 8, 414 attack. Okay, what about this one? Uh, cleanse, taunt lasting, chances to dodge... Uh, lasting two turns. Okay. Okay, let's go for some dodges. Oh, they just fade. Oh, bless. They're just gone. I thought he would stay there for the whole... Oh, here comes High Pounce. Oh, Lord. Oh, he survives. Yes. Ran oh, well, we kind of resisted it, but hey-ho. Um, should we should we get out of dodge? No, we're not. We're going to stay in. Courageous alert. Yes. Oh, it'd be so cool if the more that stayed in, the more damage they would do. Absorbed. Oh, here we go. It's down to one, so we're in a threatened state now. We've alerted the swarm. Oh, was that when he tried to swap out? Lord knows. Anyway, keep going. Alert. Kill the raptor. It's just one blessing. The comrades I've lost won't stop hurting. No, they all go down. Oh, bless. So I don't know how you recover extra, or can you? There is a rally. But maybe it's oh maybe that compy didn't have it. Oh bless! That was so cool though. That was awesome. Oh the 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 things you can do with this game that that's thinking outside the box and that's I really appreciate that, Lodi. That's really, I think you could do even more. So maybe some dinosaurs, if there's more of them, they do more damage or they do multiple hits. So. If you had dinosaurs that did multiple hits, it could set off counters multiple times. So, you know, maybe if it was a trichosaur or something that counted hit, you know, if it got hit three times, it would do one, two, three, and completely take out the compy. And maybe that could be a counter to the compy? Oh, man. Oh, that is so cool. So cool. I can't wait to see, like, all of these compies and stuff and all the different combos you can do. I mean, I will try my best to unlock the Compsognase hybrid as quickly as I can. But unless we have, I mean, at the moment it's very early days. Like I said, if we go into the, uh, into here, they go into uh, the, the sanctuaries, really, I don't think, th these are like heavily restricted to what people can put in. So I'd be very surprised. Yeah, there's none in there. If there was other compies in there, but if somebody has put compies in there. Um, it just means that if I do it multiple times, it's gonna like it's gonna take a while because it's gonna be even slower. But anyway, guys, oh look, we dropped down. Brilliant. <laughs> we lost so many cups there. Oh my god. 
Oh dear. Well, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget, link in the description below. If you want your own box, so you just click it and follow it on the on the device that you open Jurassic World, play Jurassic World Live on. And you'll uh, not only, well, you don't, I was going to say, you'll not only support me, I don't get anything for it. It's for you. I mean, I can click it myself and get books, I suppose. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.